What is up guys, Jared Spalding here today, I'm going to be doing kind of a prediction video, I'm going to be talking about when is the world going to run out of silver? So many people have many different thoughts about this, you know, uh, one website I saw, a uh, visual capitalist, said that they believe silver is going to run out in the year 2049, but of course we're not just going to end it there and be like, oh, you know what, that's what they said, so we're done, we're going to have to come up with something ourselves here, you know, or that's what we're going to be doing. In this video so honestly there's a few factors you have to look at you know for one I think that many people you know believe that you have to find the average of you know how much silver is consumed per year and then you know based on trends of how much more silver is being consumed every year and stuff like that and then base that and then you know put factor in how much um, silver we know that's left on earth but there's a few things that are wrong with that for one we don't know how much silver is left on Earth yet, you know what I mean? We There's new mines getting discovered very frequently still, and you know maybe there's small mines, but there still are mines getting discovered. There's a lot of silver in the ocean, there's a lot of little small deposits of silver that still make up, you know, in toge together they still make up millions of ounces themselves that people don't know about because they're like really small themselves and not really worth excavating. But my point being, there's a lot more silver than people think, you know? There's a lot left that people don't know about, maybe on riverbeds, bottom of the ocean, and areas that are going to be hard to recover. Also, and this might be a really long shot, but there might even be silver on other planets that I'm, I'm doubting that's possible, but it's, it, I mean, maybe, you know, I don't know what the composition of every planet is, like, and nobody really knows the exact, but I know there's definitely, like, iron, iron on other planets, if I can pronounce that right, uh, and, you know, depending, of course, that's the rocky planets, and the gas planets are probably not going to be much on at all. You know, everything's going to be liquid there and too hostile to mine anyway. But I don't know if there's any silver on other planets or not. Probably not. Maybe Mars. The only planet I can think of. But, you know, there is, that is something else to maybe consider. But definitely there's more silver on Earth than we are going to know about. And also, as silver runs out and the price becomes higher, the thing about silver is that as the price is going up and it's running out, sure investors might want more of it because they see that the price keeps on going up and up, but big industries who consume most of the silver are going to try to figure out ways to use less silver. And what's probably going to happen is in areas where silver has to be used, they'll just use copper instead because copper is so much cheaper. And of course copper might run out eventually too. But as of now, copper is way cheaper than silver, and if silver were to begin running out like that, then people would probably just switch over to uh, copper, I would believe. But copper's already in electronics, and they're trying to figure out more and more ways to just use copper instead of silver, because, you know, it's a lot cheaper, and they can make a lot more money, because they can sell the product for the same amount, but pay away less for each one. You know, phones or tablets, computers, whatever. So, I think right there, you know, at... The, I think that it's kind of like weird, you know, weird um, trend, but I think as silver gets more expensive, it's going to almost, you know, decrease in demand because, like I said, these big industries who use most of the silver are going to be looking at it less and less as a viable source, or a viable resource, I mean, when, you know, it becomes more and more expensive. So, I'm pretty sure that means that over time, silver is going to really be hurting itself by becoming more valuable because less and less industries are going to be wanting to use it. And if it gets really expensive, it'll probably be replaced by copper. That's something else to consider. So yeah, that's definitely something you have to consider. Is that silver is not going to become more and more um, you know, used in huge industries when it becomes more and more expensive. It's probably going to become less. So that might increase uh, how long you know the earth will still have silver on it. So I do think that most of these reports you're going to read are going to be pretty inaccurate because they're based on silver going up and up in use still, which is not really possible because, you know, big companies who are using silver are going to try to use less and less of it as it gets more and more expensive, just like what happened with gold, you know, because silver replaced gold in a lot of areas where when gold became really expensive. And the same thing is going to happen with silver um, from copper. So I do think that the Earth's probably not going to run out of silver for another hundred years, I would think, probably around then, and maybe even longer, I'm not sure, though, but, um, like I said, if other planets do have enough silver, that might slow how 
Earth runs out of silver too, because we're mining it on other planets. Again, that's a really long shot, and I doubt that's going to be the case, but, you know, definitely a lot of silver is still in small deposits and everything, so I think we still have at least 100 years before the Earth runs out of silver. So that is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the quick video. Peace, love, and much respect.